Florida for 10 years almost now. And prior to that, most of my professional cooking careers happened up north in Boston, mainly in New York. Hello, my name is Jair Solis. I'm the chef here at the North Museum since 2019 when we reopened. I started as a sous chef and I've been recently promoted to the executive chef. The inspiration on the dishes for Frida Kahlo are mainly started with my mother, my wife, Frida's artwork, the things that she uh, is pushed through society to empower women. As far as the food goes, there's a cookbook for her that I've actually uh, read before I started uh, thinking about what to put on the menu. And there's a lot of uh, resemblances to the type of food that I've cooked since I am from Peru and we have a lot of uh, cooking with chilies and earthy flavors and spices and, and seasonings. So the calabaza bisque, it's a vegetarian plate. It's essentially a calabaza, which is a pumpkin, a type of pumpkin. Uh, celery, onions, sweet potatoes, and I just let that all kind of cook down together and then it's topped with pepitas and lime crema. These are shrimp tacos. Uh, shrimp is being uh, one of the components that is used in, in that side of Mexico and it's saute shrimp that's been marinated with paprika, garlic, lime juice and oil. Poblan, roasted poblano peppers, roasted corn, guacamole, and lime crema. Tacos to me are very much all about texture, so I'm looking to, you know, to showcase the crunch of a tortilla, not necessarily using a corn tortilla, I'm using a flour tortilla. The chicken dish is um, dried, salted, so it's cured and salted overnight on the, on the breast so then uh, the skin becomes really crispy and it, it ties together a red mole from Oaxaca. Uh, I picked a red mole because it ties in all the flavor profiles from, from the, the royal trumpet mushrooms. I used uh, guajillo peppers and ancho chilies for the mole and then I finished the dish with a sherry reduction. Traditional guacamole. I charred the onions for that to give it a different uh, taste. Flan de quesillo. It's a very traditional South American, Central American, and you see in many different cultures. It's a type of flan, but it, based on where it comes from, sometimes it's cooked a little bit longer than others. So it starts with caramel in the bottom of a pan. We'll set the caramel and then add the uh, mixture of eggs, cheese, and milk, and then set it in an oven with a bain-marie for about half an hour until it sets fully, and then we cool it down. Once it's cooled down fully, it goes right into the plate, upside down, and then we'll torch the actual container. We put some heat on the top, so then it pops out and then garnish it.